I used to be a real skeptic about this when we first started talking about IoT and smart, smart machines, connected devices, because we already had so much connectivity down the plant. If there was some value in connecting something, we were already connecting it. But uh, as we move forward with this, and, and as we've really started to see this, this technology mature, it's clear to me that there's some specific benefits that we can bring to the customer. So firstly, uh, it's, a, it's a, an alternate path for data collection uh, up into the analytic systems that we have in the plant, the information systems, that are, that's not intrusive. It doesn't have to go into the control system. You don't have to open your PLC up to get access to that information and, and the value that it can bring you. So if your machine is supplied to you from an OEM and it has a, a controller, a PLC that's kind of built into it, that's all programmed up, you might not want to go in there and start connecting stuff and start monkeying with that and, and changing what it does. So that's the first benefit, separate path of data acquisition. Secondly, uh, it doesn't require a, a complex and stable networking infrastructure within the plant. So, um, you know, a lot of times the first step of a, of a big kind of MES project implementation for us in a food and beverage plant is to go and start laying blue ethernet cable around to connect everything up. Uh, IoT lets us kind of step over that part of the infrastructure, go directly to the machine, bring the data up wirelessly directly into the uh, historian and analytic systems that, that can use it. Third thing that I think is tremendous value point for, for sites uh, is it's a very low touch system, meaning that it doesn't take a lot to maintain and support it within the plant. So uh, you don't need a big IT staff, you don't need people skilled uh, in the various software offers and the other things that we have uh, to keep this thing running. It's, it's a hardware device, set it up, configure it, let it get it running and let it go. You don't need to have those people around to support it that you might do with some of the more larger complex IT type implementations that get done in the bigger plants. Yeah. I totally agree uh, with, with Keith. Uh, one of the things is the major pain points uh, when we're addressing some projects some implementing some solutions on the food and web is the, the time consumed, the time we invest to put uh, the, to, from the signing phase to, the, to have a system up and running. So with IoT, I think we are kind, we can be much faster. So the uh, the time to uh, to value once the customer has decided how to go with us is much better. So it's uh, shorter. So we can address the problem they are having now with the new system, with new applications running on the on cloud, running on, on the IoT concept. So it's much easier, much easier to adopt for for the customers. Also.